in here to work with you in English. And I have a story to tell you. Can you listen to me right now? Yes. What we're going to do is act out a story about a very hungry, caterpillar. really hungry caterpillar. So tell your elbow buddy what this means in Spanish. I want you to listen for the words that I say. Okay, here, is, here are the rules. All teachers have rules. I talk, you listen. I move, you move like me. Got it? Got it. Once upon a time, after the butterfly lay her eggs on the leaf, a little egg woke up. Wake up. It was night time. The moon was out. So show me the little egg on the leaf. It's laying on the leaf. And it wakes up. <laughs> what happened? Look at it. It woke up so hungry. Oh my gosh, was it hungry. Show me how hungry it was. It wanted to eat a lot. So it thought to itself. Well, they don't walk really. They kind of crawl. So let's crawl and find some food. <laughs> so on Monday, the caterpillar ate through an apple. Now look at what happened. When you are a caterpillar and you eat through an apple, you come out on the other end. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It goes in and it comes out. And the caterpillar is still hungry. So on Tuesday, the caterpillar ate through two pairs and came out on the end. But you know what? Show me. Yeah, my daicha. It was still really hungry. Friday, the caterpillar, show me, ate through five oranges and came out on the other end still hungry. So the caterpillar stopped and thought, I need to eat more. I think I'm going to eat junk food. <gasps> so the caterpillar ate through cake, ice cream, pickle, cheese, sausage, lollipop, cheesecake, hot dog, muffin, pizza. No, I thought it was watermelon. You're probably right. It's pizza. So tell your elbow buddy, do you think the caterpillar is full? Yes or no? No. Alexis and um, Efren, what do you think? The caterpillar is full. You think the caterpillar is full? Why? Because he ate a lot. He did eat a lot. Who disagrees with Efren? Who thinks he's still hungry? Anybody? Hypothesis. But it didn't happen. He was still hungry. So guess what he did? Here's the caterpillar. He's on the branch. And he is going to eat through, show me, a leaf. Let's eat through the leaf. He's a vegetarian. He ate through the leaf. He ate through the leaf. He started to grow, 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 to become a in the book, I'm going to read to you, it's a cocoon. So show me the cocoon. After he was full and he ate the leaf, he became a cocoon. Here's the cocoon. Seriously, this is like it's brown. And so what happened was, after a few days, get into your cocoon. It's a little bit like what we just did in the severe one. Okay, we're in our cocoon. Are you in your cocoon? Okay, now 
Now you're going to start to eat through and push through your cocoon. Push through. And now come out and fly like a butterfly. Okay. Then you're going to get this. Does everybody have a card? Yes. Some of you are going to get two because I have more. Who wants another card? You all want another one? Okay, turn and tell your elbow buddy what your card says. Read your card to your elbow buddy. Your card says caterpillar, come and sit right here. If your card says caterpillar, come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of you know it, but here's the rule. When I say your word, you are going to hold your word up. You have to pay close attention to the story. The book is little, so you might not see the words, but you will hear them. And when you hear your word, you're going to hold your word up. So let's practice. Hold your word up if it says caterpillar. Hold your word up if it says hungry. Hold your word up if it says eight or eight through. Good. Hold your word up if it says food. Hold your word up if it says leaf. Egg. Egg. The other one's reading. Perfect. All right. Here we go. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. For my sister, in the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. He was in the egg. Is that what you said? Okay, I'm going to write it that down. He was in the egg. What do we put at the end of a sentence? Always. A period. That's all. I just want to put a period down. Giovanni, can you write, read your sentence, please? Now, here's the deal. If you don't have to look up here. This is your work. Everybody together. Big butterfly. One. Big butterfly. He was in the egg. What happened next? He was really hungry. He woke up. He was really hungry. And he ate a lot. And he ate a lot. Whoops. I tried to erase. And he ate a lot. Okay, sweetheart, you're going to write, read your sentence, you. He was really hungry and he ate a lot. Now all of us are going to read together. Big butterfly, he was in the egg. He was really hungry, and he ate a lot. What happened next? Juan, what happened he next? Ate, Juan. He ate some some What's the first? Let's look at the pictures. What are all of them? Hold on, let's look. What they have to eat. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let me tell you something really exciting. Are you ready? Yeah. All of these are part of a group. Apple. Plums. Pears. Strawberries. And oranges. What are they all called? Fruits. Fruits. Very good. He ate fruit. Fruits. Fruits. Fruit. And what happened? And then he jumped in. And then? Because he didn't have any more fruit. He, is it eat or ate? Eight. Eight junk food. OK, let's all read this together. He, he ate, ate through fruit, fruit, and then he I want you to finish writing this for Paolo, because that's not the end, right? No. There's more that happened. Tell your 
your elbow, buddy, what happened afterwards? My favorite part in the story is. Go ahead, tell. A starts. My favorite part was when I, when the caterpillar turned into a butterfly. Can you tell me why that was your favorite part? Because? Because, um, because the butterfly um, is pretty. Yeah, it's a beautiful butterfly. Good. So you can say is or you can say was. It's, it's fine. Paula will love whatever you say. Now, guess whose turn it is to say what you liked best? B. B, tell A. My favorite part is, or my favorite part was? Go ahead. That his favorite part was when the mother <coughs> played, what, can you tell me the name? How do you say el huevo in English? The egg on the leaf. Good job. Okay, so here's the thing. I need you, when I call, when I tell you to, to go back to your table and you are going to write to Paulo your favorite part. You just said it, so you all know what it is. Now, first you're going to write. Later you can draw. But first I want you to write. Sale vale? All right, if you are B, you may sit down. Please don't forget your names because Paula really wants you to know your names. Yes. I want you to write how you hear the words. I do not care right now that your spelling is accurate. It's okay if it is not perfect. So I always say sound yes. it out the word. Sound it out and write it like you hear it. Just write it like you hear it. Paula will understand, I promise. <laughs> I do have nice So Camila's writing Paolo a, a little yeah. note. Can you read to, to us what you wrote? Hello, Paolo. I'm Camila, and my favorite part is. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and you wrote his name correctly. I am so impressed. Yeah. If you. And that's Zion, because Zion is new to English, and he did something really neat. Can you first read it to us in Spanish? First in Spanish. Mi parte favorita es cuando tiene hambre. No, 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 not in English, because you were so hard at the English. 